Welcome to Magic Gathering Strat, I'm Binky B and this is one of my other modern brews at the moment. So there is two things I believe you should be preparing for if you're going to like uh, Madrid for example uh, as I am. The first one is a constant thing whichever deck you pick and that is Yeskai Ascendancy combo you need early interaction you would not be sad if you had like a disruption spell for the hand or a counter spell so that that is basically something you need to be aware of when you're going there unless they ban the card before that the second thing is either you play a deck that is good against treasure cruise or a deck that is good with treasure cruise and the first deck I uh, played now was Blue White Rest in Peace Control. That's a deck that is tuned to beat Treasure Cruise. If they can't get any cards in their deck, many uh, into the graveyard, many decks just can't cast the Treasure Cruise. Blue Red Delver, they have like two or three lands at the most in play if they're going well. They will never cast a Treasure Cruise against you, and then you will win. Hopefully. So this deck is built to take advantage of Treasure Cruise instead. I've identified Fork Bolt to be one of the best cards to play early. Kill like a bird and a mana elf or a delver or a um, young pyromancer with a token, whatever. Pillar of Flame also pretty relevant. It exiles, which could be good. And it's good against cards like Kitchen Finks and whatever. Also playing some, some Thought Scissors because we need to, and they're pretty good. I've left one Snapcaster in the deck because it is not impossible to make one Snapcaster work with four Treasure Cruises. But I don't want to draw like an opening with three lands, a Bolt, two Snapcasters and a Treasure Cruise. That's just no good. Some Terminates. Probably one of the best removal spells in the format. Mana leaks, electrolysis. I'm trying one Ashok. I really want to make him work in modern, and I think one is what you, where you want to be. One yes as <sighs> distraction and card advantage, I guess. One cryptic command. You could play more, but I don't want to have two top heavy hands and. Triple blue is an issue in a three color deck. Don't pretend anything else. And since we're playing pretty light numbers on the mana symbols, we can play four tectonic edges, which is fantastic. Two battle skulls as our main win condition. Battle skull is still a fantastic card if you can resolve it. It's hard to kill, it's hard to beat, it's impossible to race. Well, and I still love Great Titan, so I have one in the deck. And al also, of course, four treasure cruises. Hence the name Cruise Control. Mana base, otherwise pretty standard. Fetches, duels, basics. Yeah, nothing scary about that. One creeping tarpit, miser. Uh, I don't want too many coming to play tap plants. You could play like a temple if you want to. For the sideboard. Dragon's Claw against Mon Red or Burn. Uh, Ley Lines against Graveyard Decks, but also a possibility against Treasure Cruises and stuff. It depends a lot on what the deck is. A Slaughter Games, I mean, you need it against Jeskai yes, Combo, maybe. If you can counter the first, you can Slaughter Games the rest or whatever. Uh, it's also good against escape shift and whatnot. The last terminate. More pillar flames. And electricery pretty good against Delvers and stuff where you need to be faster. More dismembers. I mean pretty straightforward. What we could use, and this is something I've been thinking about, but I have not had the time to test it yet, but Notion Thief. Yeah, Notion Thief. When so many decks plays cards like this, and you can play a Notion Thief, well, you can figure 
figure that out for yourself. Uh, what I'm worried about is I do think we're too light against the burn decks because it will be hard to live up to Bear Skull and connect with it through uh, skull cracks and stuff. And our removal package and hand disruption package is not suited against burn at all. It's good against the Delver versions, but not uh, that great against the burn version. And only two dragons claw is probably a bit. A bit, a bit too few spells against them. I'm, I'm not sure what we would bring in more like more dragons claw. I'm not sure about that. They bring in smash to smithereens, which kills the barrier skulls as well. But I'm not sure what we would run otherwise. Things that gain gains life in those colors are few and far between. Maybe we could just bring in like sp spell pierces or dispels maybe. Like remove those and maybe like an anger and a slower pack and bring in some dispels that could work. Uh, well, I'm I'm not sure about that. I will have to test it first. Maybe the matchup is uh, is okay, uh, but that's something we will find out. Yeah. So this is cruise control. Grixis colors like it. Uh, haven't tried it out yet, so. Stay with me and hopefully we will get some boosters.